Do you want to know a trick that can make your videos look more atmospheric and filmic? If yes, this video is for you, as today I will be showing exactly how to use and modify the glow effect that's also available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I hope you like the tutorial. And here I've already applied the glow effect onto my clip at the end of my note tree. This is before and after. So let me walk you through what you can do with this effect. First, we can select output option that allows us to preview different stages of the glow effect. So we can select here shiny regions that are the regions impacted by glow. Then we have glow alone. So we can see exactly how strong is our glow effect. And then we have glowing image. That is basically the final result. Next, we have shine threshold that defines the luminance level of the glow. So the lower the value, the lighter the glow is. Then spread defines how far the glow spreads from its source. So the higher the value is, the softer our glow will look like. And the lower the value is, the more condensed and dreamlike our glow will look like. Then we have HNV ratio that lets us adjust the proportion of horizontal to vertical spread. So when we move the slider to the left, our glow will spread vertically. And when we move it to the right, it will spread horizontally. Then we have relative spread red, green and blue that allows us to adjust the spread of each color channel separately. So we can create a sort of chromatic aberration. Then we have color and composite options. Gain adjusts the brightness of the glow effect. Gamma adjusts the spread of the glow effect. So when we increase it, the glow spreads to a larger area. Then saturation adjusts the intensity of the glow's color. And then we have color filter where we can choose the color of our glow. So we can, for example, grab a color picker and pick a color from our clip to colorize the glow. So now it's dark teal, for example. And then we can also open our color palette and we can move around to pick another color we like. Then we have glow framing that lets us choose what happens to the glow when it hits the edge of the frame. So we can pick here between vignette and reflect in camera. And then we have different composite modes. You can choose to blend the glow effect with the image. I usually stick to add, but if you want to play around with other composite modes, feel free to do it. One of the most commonly used modes is called soft light. So when we pick it, we have to obviously modify it differently something like this but let's go back and now we have opacity that lets us to adjust the intensity of the glow then we have bright region recovery that allows us to restore the highlights from our glow then invert effect allows us to invert our settings and at the end we have global blend. So at the end, if we decide that our effect is too much, we can use it to blend the whole effect with the clip better. Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.